Hi guys, it's your curious and awkward friend Vasi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm very happy to see you here. On today's video, I want to take you around with me in central London. <gasps> because I want to show you what's open, what's closed, what's going on, if there are people, if they're not, how are the restrictions, and just a general update. Come with me. And then I realized that central London is in the other direction. And a massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed. I just hit 1k today and I couldn't be happier. You guys, you give meaning to my day. I just cannot wait to finish my regular 9 to 5 job so I can start editing and making videos for you. And hopefully when we can travel again this year, I will also take you around with me and we can do some more fun thank you thank you thank you so tell us why are we going to central London I'm a motion designer I need to model a product in 3d and I need the actual product that is not in the local supermarket that's why we're going there And the first place where we stopped was st. James Park because they had just planted these beautiful flowers Something quite interesting that I find about gardens here in London is that most of the times they actually bring the flowers once they're ready and they don't actually grow it there. Okay, I mean, that's not so interesting, but you literally see them appear from one day to the other. So cute! So cute! And here we are at Piccadilly Circus. One of the most interesting things for me was to see that there were more people at St. James Park having a picnic or just walking around than at Piccadilly. And guys, let me know what is your situation. Are you still in lockdown? Are you able to go out and enjoy life more than we can do here in London? I would love to hear from you. As you can see, even some stores here in Regent Street have closed down and I have been seeing this also in other parts of London that many stores are moving out but hopefully new ones will reopen. And something else quite interesting that I noticed is that some stores, like here the store of Ux, update their visual merchandising even though the store is actually closed and people cannot shop in there. Let me know in the comments down below where do you usually do your groceries. And by the way, do you notice the amount of people cycling around? Actually, bicycles were one of the most bought products in 2020 and the demand was so high that bicycle retailers couldn't meet the current demand. I also wanted to share with you this project called Broadway, for which you should really keep your eyes open for because it's going to be huge. Basically, there will be six residential buildings and also lots of shops, office spaces, and they will also have a cinema. But let's not get carried away because if you would like to get a house in there, just the starting price is almost two million. So yeah, let's go out of here. So crazy, we're literally in the middle of Soho and like it's so empty and it's also Saturday. But from the other side I have to say that now there is there are definitely more people than like one year ago or a couple of months ago. So yeah, that's maybe something positive. We are now in front of Kingly Court. I'm actually so curious to see what's open and what's closed because this used to be my favorite go-to place for lunch and for dinner because there are so many restaurants on the different floors but it's already not really looking great because The Grind and Bread Ahead were both closed and one year ago there was literally a queue to get in. Anyways, let's go inside. Oh my god, it's so quiet. I can't even believe that. And just a tip, because I totally love tips, is that you can get free water because Kingly Court took part of the amazing com campaign One Less Bottle. And you know what else is free? Hitting the like button. 
out of 21 restaurants at Kingly Court, there was only one open and it was acai berry. So you can see some people right in front that were enjoying a nice acai Instagrammable bowl. I have to work right over there on the fourth floor. We were making like trailers for movies and shit. Over no, there? Yeah, no, no, it's all closed, all gone. Dude, like there were so, so many people every day here. Like, you know, I was looking down and it was just like so crowded. Everything was like, it was so fucking cool. But now, it's all gone. It's all gone. Yeah, and Ben is incredibly positive today. Yay, that's not the spirit to go. And as you can see, Liberty is taking advantage of the current situation and they're renovating their store. I cannot wait to see how it's going to look, but unfortunately, I couldn't find a date on when it all will be finished. So let's keep an eye on it, okay? Okay, and if you see it ready, please let me know. Can you see how many delivery guys are in there waiting for an order to get into their phones so they can go and work? I really, truly admire them. And also, just wanted to share some fun facts with you. Maybe, again, not so much fun, but I find it quite interesting that online food delivery services rose by almost 12% compared to last year. Last year meaning 2019 because I still live in 2020, apparently. And I don't know how well can you see inside, but this bus was practically empty. There was literally only one person inside. All the stores at Oxford Street were closed, but some of them were doing click and collect, so you can order online and then go and pick it up at the store. And now we'll go and have a quick look at Chinatown, and after that we'll be heading home. Uh, but I need to go to the bathroom. Yeah, I also really need to go to the bathroom, so it's going to be real quick. We actually have a video about Chinatown, which you can go and check, check it out. out. The link is in the description. Yes. Like and also the... here or here, because ah, yeah. I never know. And if you see people queuing in Chinatown, I'm almost 100% sure that there is a bubble tea place around us, the ones here. An update on the restaurants in Chinatown. So some of them are actually closed, for example, the buffets, but many others still do takeaways and deliveries. And the restaurants that offered street food from before were doing great. As you can see here, Bun House is full of people and I'm so happy that they're doing great because it's one of my favorite places in London. So basically, now we try to keep our walks for the timing in which I don't need to go to the bathroom. So as soon as I feel like I want to go to the bathroom and I really need to pee, this is the time to go home. I really hope that you like it and let me know what videos do you want to see. The view all to subscribe. What should they do? Subscribe. Bye. Love you all.